my name is Luciana Chugar, and I'm a choreographer, um, contemporary dance experimental choreographer. Uh, I'm Todd Shalom, I'm the founder and director of Elastic City. Uh, Elastic City commissions artists to give participatory walks throughout and outside of New York. And these are walks that uh, focus less on facts and, uh, and more on the experience for a body in space. I met Todd and he invited me to do one of these walks. Um, and I've been connected to the LMCC through River to River Festival and just residencies. So, I was a big fan of her work. Uh, I reached out and, uh, and Luciana was already going to be part of River to River. Um, I reached out to her to see if she wanted to lead a walk. And she's like, well, I'm already going to be part of River to River. Why don't we see if we can do this through River to River? And I was like, well, that would be amazing. So. So I, I approach uh, an artist and I say, usually I say, well, what's urgent to you? What do you want to do? What do you need to do? Um, you have a group of willing participants. These are people who are going to go along with you and have an experience with you. Um, so to the artist, the idea is, um, you know, how can you bring your perspective out of the studio um, and outside into the street? Checking out walks that have happened before with Elastic City and just how he talks about them, it feels like it's... Also, it's working on the same kind of philosoph philosophically or aesthetically, the same interests I have that have to do with just dropping into a more experiential way of being, um, just listening, opening your senses, opening the mind perception, shifting your perception or considering perceiving things differently. To do a walk like this down, you know, by Wall Street, you're, there's an inherent like queering of, of the space. I mean, in the beginning of the walk, we're up here in this space and you have people underneath in a cubicle, <laughs> underneath the desk, feeling, <laughs> feeling the ground, <laughs> feeling the carpet, imagining they have tails. I mean, you know, this is, and, uh, and these are strangers. Yeah, you know, and people they're not who, all dancers or... No. You know, I mean, it's incredible how such a simple thing like walking across, there was a, a garden, kind of garden of rocks in, in front of a building, and that we just let ourselves like say, okay, you're gonna do this. It feels so, um, how do you call it, like, cro like you're crossing a barrier, mm -hmm. like trespassing or something, you know, like you're trespassing private property. It feels so, crazy and you're just doing this tiny little thing or wiping a table you know on the outside of that restaurant from with the water it felt like it feels so and un, not anti-social but outside of the social norm so to me it feels kind of liberating to to be able and then it, that i think yeah. happens in all the walks many and so i mean i think to me that's something that his project doing that i feel like it's beautiful it's just continuing to do, just asking and, uh, and inviting people to be in the city, to be in their body in a, pl in a way that is outside the social norm. We, it's, like, it's amazing how, when you notice how much we stay to the rules because you, know, because you, have, to, you have to have these social codes for, for safety and for some reasons, but after a while you, for, you lose so much of it of experiencing and just feeling alive. It sounds cheesy, but it is, it's true in a way. I would say a, a heightened awareness um, or a heightened poetic sensibility. Um, you know, we make so many decisions every day, uh, whether it's, you know, if we're gonna turn left or right or <laughs> uh, what staircase we're gonna take when we get out of the subway. I don't know, there's so many decisions we make. And I think that, um, you know, they all have the potential to be, to be poetic ones. Um, it really depends on, you know, where we choose to focus our gaze. For this walk, and in general, it does connect to making dance to me. It's the, the, just the inseparability of the, of the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual is one aspect of just connecting, not treating your body just like a physical suit, like people go to the gym and work out that, not that it's bad to work out, but you know, just treating it this like separate thing from myself, but just kind of connecting all those things, the connectedness of things, and connectedness to others, and and just a kind of 
questioning of society, just staying, keeping that in check and just feeling things more. So for more information, you could go to elastic-city.org. And for more information on my work, you can go to my website, uh, lachugar, L-A-C-H-U-G-A-R.org.